Hi, my name's Kurzik. I uh, hope to be in the game soon. Hello again and welcome to my third video review. This time I'm going to talk about Model 3. Uh, okay. This time, uh, you probably don't even know who this character is because he is my own character creation, so I create him from scratch. Uh, the reason I create him is because when I was at college, my teacher asked the whole class to design a character and that was basically it. Um, but he also said make a monster, not really a human kind of form. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll give it a try. So um, I looked at various characters for inspiration. So I mainly just looked at, uh, uh, looking at him, you can probably tell that uh, he has essence of Isaac from the Golden Sun series and his body shape is very similar to Kirby from you know Kirby series so I looked at those two and thought yeah okay I'll put them together and this is what it came up well first it was actually uh, this was the first initial design as you can see I tried a few eye designs color tries and once that was done I went on to design the weapon uh, I designed it here and I thought I wanted to give him a sword but I also wanted to give him something that could transform so I thought okay how about a sword that transforms into a bow and arrow so how it works is a sword like this and then it rotates open to create the bow and arrow like this and once I designed it I coloured it in and this is how it looks Okay, you're probably wondering, like, it's a sword and it transforms into a bow and arrow and the colours are very identical to a Pitt's weapon from Brawl. But, before you say anything, I did not copy that weapon at all. I actually designed this character five months before Brawl was announced. So, you know, I guess it's coincidence that it looks the same. But now that I've told you how the sword works, um, yes, again, I, I made the model out of blue tack, just blue tack, and uh, to create the head, um, I knew it would consume so much blue tack just to make a round ball, so I actually got a golf ball uh, and wrapped blue tack around it so that I save a lot of blue tack and also make it lighter. Okay, um, so when that was when that was done, I made the hair, the boots, hands. Uh, this time, I actually made things separate rather than all at one go. So I made the ball head, and then I just made a lot of little spikes, and then just stuck it on for his hair. The hands, I made them separate out of blue tack before I attached them, and then made little uh, made little hole slots on either part, on either side, and just slotted them in. Same with the shoes. Um, now the weapon and wings, uh, oh this is his uh, arrows on his case, these are the arrows for his arrow, um, bow and arrow but they're way too small but I think they look pretty cool. Um, the wings, I was originally going to make that blue tat as well but I thought hmm, they're quite big and if I made them they'll be pretty heavy and I'll because they're like quite thin as well, they'll probably start going and just flop down, so that's no good. So I thought, hmm, why not try mixing material? So, so I did, so I got some card, quite thick card, and drew it out, cut it out, um, cut some more little bits out and stuck it on so the wings actually become quite 3D. So then I painted it with acrylic paints. Yes, again, the whole model's from acrylic paints painted, uh, except for the eyes. I used um, letter set pen sets to draw in the eyes. Um, yeah, the sword as well. Like, originally going to make it a blue tag, but same reason, it'll probably flop over. And I also wanted it to actually be able to move. So if I show you. <sighs> okay. Right, this is the sword, and this is when it transforms. Oh, 
got a bit stuck there. Okay, this is how it is. That's the bow and arrow form. Yeah, so uh, the weapon is pretty fragile because it can, you know, do that and stuff, but I actually quite like how it turned out. I mean, it's my very first model that actually has some kind of articulation to it. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, this is why I said it hours are way too small. See, <laughs> it won't even reach. Um, yeah, I mean, it was quite hard making the swords, like cutting them out and actually putting them together. And it took me a while to figure out how I can make it move, but also because it's a separate thing, oh, um, separate object, I have found it hard how to attach the hand because I just do that and there. And if I use glue, it will stick on, but it won't be able to open. So in the end, I just got a needle, uh, stabbed it through both weapons, and bent it like this. Because you can see, I bent it, and then I just uh, made a hole here, and then just stabbed it in. But you still can't hold it properly, so lucky for me, I have this string here, so I can just put it on his hair. Um. Oh yeah, by the name, his name is Kurzek. Uh, it's spelt K I R A A C. <laughs> you know, mix from Kirby and Isaac. Um, this is the final look for when I designed it. The final illustration of him. Um. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so I thought, once I made him, I thought, mm, I, know him, I know him all around every angle, and since I thought I would take character design a step further, so I thought, yeah, I'll make him out of 3D, and this is the result, yeah. Right, um, the things I found hard with this model is... Uh, I found the hair quite hard to do actually because if you look here it's actually quite a complicated shape um, and it's kind of like has that anime kind of feel to it so to make it 3D I kind of went hmm how, how am I going to do this so I mean I just went for it I just made a lot of little spikes just put it all together and that's how it looks in 3D I, mean, I think it looks Kind of cool, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, my own character, actually having a figure of my own character is pretty cool, I suppose. Um, yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's actually quite cool. Um, I mean, that's it, really. Uh, this one took me about one and a half weeks to finish so it was quite hard getting the head proper round and smooth that was hard because it kept getting dense in that um, the hands were a little hard to make especially painting it because that little bit here is his arm and then it attached right to a glove so it's quite hard trying like not getting the two colors mixed together on each part so that was kind of hard the eyes were fairly hard to do cuz um because like, I'd never used pens on drawing on a 3D model before so that was quite hard but in the end I think it does look like the eyes um yeah I mean it's, that that's basically it um, I hope you enjoyed this review and hope to see you next time. See ya.